Nigerian doctor in the U.S., Babathami Taiwo is leading a major study on drug remdesivir that appears to treat COVID-19. A Nigerian doctor named Babathami Taiwo is leading a major study on an antiviral drug named remdesivir that appears to be effective in treating COVID-19. CNN interviewed Dr. Babathami Taiwo to discuss the result of remdesivir in treating coronavirus. This is the first time that a drug that showed promise in the laboratory uh, actually crossed the bridge and demonstrated efficacy in the patient population for whom it's, uh, it's been tested. And so the trial that uh, was reported today showed that looking at two important metrics of patient outcomes, number one, uh, time to recovery, and number two, survival, the study, at least using the data that we have now, showed uh, good results. So, so in terms of the recovery, obviously we had said you know it, it shortened the time to recovery, notably from 15 days to 11 in patients uh, who who were sick. Um, but obviously, you say it, it trends towards improving survival, right? Whether people actually live who wouldn't have lived otherwise. Um, there is still an eight percent mortality rate. I understand from your study when the drug is administered. Um, Dr. Fauci today, though, said, yeah, that's an improvement. It was 11 percent before, but he noted that that improvement is not statistically significant. Again, and ultimately, that is what matters, right? Does this drug save lives? Do you have any concern about the results on that front? No, I do not, because the results that were reported today really is a foretaste of the entire report. The final analysis is still a few weeks away, but what was reported is strong enough to say that at least the trend, uh, although it did not reach statistical significance, it was still uh, important. And the expectation is that when all the results come in, it hopefully will reach that uh, metric. So you're saying the expectation when there's more data uh, that's coming in the next few weeks is that it will be a statistically significant improvement in terms of people living who would not otherwise have lived? That, that is the expectation, of course, until the data come, the full results come in. We really cannot make definitive statements. But everything that uh, we've seen so far gives a lot of optimism and hope that, in fact, that's what's going to happen. Right. Well, obviously, that's the, that's the significant point, and you're looking at the data, so it, it, uh, obviously everyone is hoping that that is what, what turns out. Another doctor working on the NIH study, uh, Dr. Taiwo, said that remdesivir is, I quote, not the end of the story. We can always do better. Do you think there is another drug uh, that could be ready to use this fast that is out there? Well, I don't know that uh, we have something else that works exactly the way that remdesivir works, which is as an antiviral that really we could uh, say this, make this sort of statements about. But remember that COVID has two ways in which it can hurt someone. The first is by its viral activity, so just the virus making copies of itself. The other way is through the profound inflammation that it causes that is really uh, something that comes into effect much later in the course of the disease. So there are compounds that are being looked at to look to address that other component of the disease uh, spectrum. So the antivirals like remdesivir are one component. The other component are drugs to really mitigate the inflammation that the virus uh, provokes. And I think at the end of the day, it's quite likely that combination of these kinds of different buckets of intervention is what we would really need to make a difference.